Howdy folks, Jeff at Pahake Wilderness here with Mike and Jason. We're going to show you how to set up your A-frame visor on your A-frame trailer. Once you have the roof raised, you want to go ahead and lower that sidewall. And you want to wipe the top edge of the sidewall thoroughly, as you see Jason doing here. And then locate your Velcro strips, peel the backing off and begin to insert those along the top edge of the wall. They are pre-measured in length, so all you have to do is start at the peak and continue installing it along that top edge for the full length of the Velcro. Once you have it fully in place, go ahead and give it a good uh, rub down to make sure the adhesive has taken hold to the uh, aluminum rail, and then go ahead and repeat that procedure on the other side of the roof. Once you have those Velcro strips in place, and this is a one-time installation, you won't have to do that again, go ahead and pull the visor out, locate the peak of the visor as Jason is doing here, and simply insert it onto that Velcro strip that you've just installed onto your wall. Do that on both sides from the peak down. Make sure it's installed nice and tight along that edge. And once you've got it completely in place, you can go ahead and stand the wall up. Once you've got the wall locked in place, go ahead and grab the long fiberglass pole as Jason is doing here and begin inserting it into the pole sleeve. Go ahead and assemble the pole sections as you feed it into the pole sleeve. That makes it a little bit easier. You just want to make sure that the pole sections are fully inserted into their connectors as you're inserting the pole into the pole sleeve. As you complete this step of the process, you'll see the visor beginning to take shape. The last step in this process is inserting the end of the pole into the remainder of the pole pocket, which is a big open Velcro sleeve, which you just pop the pole into, close that Velcro, and your visor is in place and freestanding, and you're ready now to insert the awning poles and attach the guy lines. In order to do this, first thing you want to do is grab the two Keter sections with the ad adhesive backing. As Jason is doing here, peel off that backing and attach that to the very bottom edge of your trailer on that aluminum rail. And do that on the front and you do that on the back. Do it directly below the edges of the visor for placement. Next, you'll take the awning pole pockets and simply insert them into that Keter rail. You'll notice that the pockets have a little slit on the front. that makes it a little bit easier to insert the awning poles into those pockets. Take the awning pole, insert the bottom end of the pocket, loosen the screw, extend it out, and engage the tip of the pole into the grommet on the webbing on the visor and tighten the pole in place. Next, release the guy line, pull it down, insert it into that Keter rail, and then snug that thing up. Repeat that procedure on the other side. The guy lines only need to be snug enough to hold the visor firmly in place against the awning poles. As Jason is doing here, inserting that last guy line, snugging it down. Now your visor is in place, held firmly in place. PA 